Nowadays, we don't often let our children wander out of sight for fear of an accident or something more sinister. However, in Chattanooga, Tennessee in 1989, 15-year-old Tanetta Carlisle made the daily trek to and from school every day until she vanished just a half block from home. Today on Dark Matters, the disappearance of Tanetta Carlisle. Tanetta Yvette Carlisle was born to her mother, Noni Sturdivant, on August 28, 1973. By the time Tanetta was a teenager, she'd grown fond of rap music, Bobby Brown, pizza, and fast food. A freshman, 15-year-old Tanetta walked to the city high school every morning and back home to the 600 block of Hamilton Avenue in the afternoon, about a 20-minute trek. She'd made this journey without incident all year, but that changed one Thursday afternoon. March 16th, 1989. School was out for the day, and by 2.55 p.m., Tanetta wasn't far from home. Approximately five minutes later, a woman on nearby Ruth Street heard a commotion up the road. A tan and yellow vehicle came to a halt next to a teenage girl walking along Hamilton Avenue. She watched, horrified, as several unidentified suspects spilled out of the car, surrounded the girl, and forced her into the vehicle before speeding away. The woman and her husband took off after the car but couldn't keep up. They did, however, manage to obtain the license plate, LKH920. They reported what they had witnessed to authorities. About eight hours later, 911 gets another report from the same area. The caller is Noni Sturdivant, who anxiously tells the operator that her daughter, Tanetta, never returned home from school. She files a missing child report, completely unaware of the witnessed abduction. An agonizing 48 hours passes without any updates on her daughter's disappearance. March 18th. Two days after Tanetta vanished, police make an alarming connection. Now, up to this point, they believed they had two separate incidents from the same area, a witnessed abduction and a missing girl. But upon further examination, they realized the missing girl lived just a half block away from the abduction site, that the girl forced into the van was Tanetta Carlisle, and two days had already passed without any sign of her. Police traced the license plate of the kidnapper's car to an apartment complex. The car was registered to a man named Jeffrey Jones, a convicted rapist who'd recently been released from prison after serving eight years for his crimes. Jones was far from a changed man, even after almost a decade behind bars. Police discovered he'd sexually assaulted a woman in his apartment complex just two months prior to Tanetta's abduction. Unfortunately, detectives didn't get the chance to interrogate Jones. They found him deceased inside his vehicle from carbon monoxide poisoning and apparent suicide. Following this discovery, over 300 police officers, sheriff's deputies, bloodhounds, and volunteers scoured the area surrounding Jones's apartment complex. But their searches yielded no trace of Tanetta Carlisle. Years passed, and despite having a witness and finding the owner of the vehicle Tanetta was forced into, leads dried up and the case went cold. Tanetta was featured on America's Most Wanted, but detectives were no closer to finding her 20 years later, working off a few tips and a short supply of information. But the hardest weight was for Noni, who reprimanded the police for not immediately enacting the search for her daughter. She looks back on that day, saying, I wish I hadn't been at work that day. She was walking home from school and just never arrived. And without evidence or answers, 
we can only speculate what might have happened to her. Rumors follow most tragedies, and Tanetta's abduction was no exception. There were reported witness sightings everywhere from Minnesota to California. People thought they'd spotted her in supermarkets or at a housing project in Alton Park, right in Chattanooga. However, none of these sightings were confirmed. One particular lead concerning traffickers was especially disturbing to authorities. Detectives received information that Tanetta might have been the victim of a human trafficking group abducting teenage girls, transporting them to California, and forcing them into prostitution. Chattanooga PD got in touch with a sheriff's office in California where the supposed group was based out of. However, authorities there found no trace of Tanetta. What Noni believes happened to her daughter doesn't offer comfort but she still hopes for closure. She imagines Tanetta putting up a fight with her captors, resulting in her death, after which Jeffrey Jones buries her in an undisclosed location. She said, I'm hoping someday that the dog might dig up something. If Tanetta was alive and everything, she'd be trying to contact me. It's a painful thought, and perhaps that's why Noni has never changed her phone number. She clings to the chance that Tanetta is still alive and that one day she might hear her daughter's voice again. But even if reality confirms her worst nightmares, the grieving mother just wants to know the truth. Tanetta will forever remain 15 in Noni's memory, and she can only guess at who she would have become as an adult. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children has done two age progressions of Tanetta, using pictures of Noni to determine what her daughter might look like today. There's some peace, but as Noni gets older, the fear that she might pass on before bringing her daughter home is a hard one to face. Desperate for answers, she says, We just keep praying, hoping that something breaks. I don't want to leave this world knowing that this case is never solved. 15-year-old Tanetta Yvette Carlisle is a black female with brown, almond-shaped eyes, pierced ears, and black curly hair. At the time of her disappearance, it was trimmed short on top and on the sides, but was longer in the back. She stood at five foot one and weighed 95 pounds. She had dental caps and fillings on several of her teeth and was last seen wearing a pink and white striped blouse, a denim skirt, and white sneakers. Her case is now classified as a non-family abduction and foul play is suspected. If you have any information on the circumstances surrounding Tonetta Carlisle's abduction, please contact the Chattanooga Police Department at 423-698-2525. A special thank you to the Patreon family. In light of demonetization of most new dark matters and nameless episodes, their financial support is crucial for the channel's mission to spread awareness of cold cases, including Tanetta's. If you are interested in becoming a patron, information is always in the description, but even if you only continue to support by watching, thank you. Thank you for giving Tanetta's case a moment of your time, and my heart goes out to her family and friends. They've gone too long without answers, and we all hope for closure. And no matter what you choose to believe or what you speculate, I ask you only for respect in the comments below, as always, both for Tanetta and her family. Also, just a quick reminder, you have until 11.59 p.m. on November 1st to order your Cameo Wendigo and Jackalope merchandise before they go back into the vault until mid-2019. If you do want to support the channel by purchasing merchandise, please know I am extremely grateful to be able to share these stories of the missing, the nameless, and those who have yet to receive justice. Um, I'm grateful for this platform and for all of you, because without you, the audience, their stories might go unheard. And remember, though these are dark matters, the darkness always matters. 
Thank you for watching the video. Exposure to cases such as Tanetta's is highly important. And thank you all for your continued support and for always receiving these cases openly and respectfully. Stay safe, friends, and have a good night.